welcome to the cup of finance uh, so uh, today's topic is sofa that is secured online financing rate so before i explain you sofa i need to give a quick background of libor because it is must because sofa is now replacing a libor so for if just say uh, if you need a loan of you if you need money where do we go we do we do go to bank and now bank uh, gives us a loan and definitely they would charge you some interest rate for it and suppose if a bank needs a loan where would it go it would go to it would go to another bank and this bank would charge another a particular interest rate for that borrowing and lending so that is how on the basis of those rate the libor is calculated okay libor is a benchmark rate on which at that rate the global bank lends uh, money to each another so let's see how uh, that libor was uh, getting calculated so wh whatever the global banks were there now the bank this bank would come up with the estimation that how much they would charge to another bank if they had to lend or borrow money from another bank so on those estimation the uh, the libor rate was calculated point to be noted that those were not the actual transaction those were only the estimation submitted by global bank and on that estimation that how much they would charge those libor rate were calculated so let's understand sofa that is secured overnight financing rate so what is this overnight overnight rate is a rate at which a bank is charging another bank for overnight borrowing and lending meant a period of a overnight why it is called as secured because the sofa is calculated on basis on those actual transaction so those transaction which are backed by a government treasury securities that's why it is called as secured overnight financing rate so sofa is calculated on the basis of actual transaction it is not the estimation like in libor it is a it is based on actual transaction now it is a volume weighted median of actual transaction which are happening in treasury repurchase agreement so what is treasury repurchase agreement is agreement when a bank borrows money from another party for a period of overnight and here the collateral which a bank is keeping with another party is a treasury bill so treasury bill is considered as one of the safest instrument right so these transactions which are backed by a uh, collateral which are treasury bills which are the safest one those transactions are considered for calculating sofa rate that's why sofa is considered as most accurate accurate means of measuring cost of borrowing and as sofa cannot be manipulated like a libor because sofa is based on actual transaction which have already happened so that's why it is not easily manipulated now sofa has become a benchmark interest rate for dollar denominated derivatives and loan and now it replacing libor now we'll understand key features of sofor and in comparison to libor it has been said that uh, sofor has lack the credit sensitivity factor as we know that uh, sofor represent a risk free rate because that rate uh, which uh, on which uh, that sofor is derived and those transaction are backed by uh, treasury collateral so now that's why the it is been said that it lacks the credit sensitivity whereas libor it is assumed that credit uh, risk is already incorporated at a libor rate uh, because it dis de depends on the assumptions of a bank that whatever the rate they would be charging uh, if they had to lend and borrow so that is one of the change or we can say a difference and second thing is that the the transition from libor 
to suffer it is going to be very tough because those agreements which were under uh, which were related to uh, labor now they have to get transferred to the software and uh, they need so many ad they need to do so many adjustment uh, with mutual agreement and if mutual agreement is not uh, feasible then again it's a very tough situation which uh, that parties has parties have to face i hope you understood the meaning of software that is secured overnight financial right